Welcome to this introduction to XLGL Worksheet Functions. In this video, we will learn what XLGL Worksheet Functions are and how they can simplify your reporting efforts. If you are already familiar with formulas and worksheet functions such as SUM or VLOOKUP in Excel, using XLGL functions will feel very natural. They are used in the same way, but will fetch and summarize data directly from your Sage 50 company file. Let's look at some real examples of their use. This balance sheet uses many XLGL worksheet functions. For example, the company name uses the XCompany function to request the name of the company from the Sage 50 data. The same function is used to request the fiscal end date for the company in cell D2. We can open the function argument window to see what arguments the function uses and get more help on the function. Let's look at a more complex and useful example. All the amount in this report uses the XUS financial function, which reports the balance of an account or a group of accounts at a given date. In this case, we can see the function fetches the account number from column B and the date in D2. As expected in Excel, when we change the value in D2, a recalculation of the formulas is performed, forcing XLGL to update the amount in each cell. Note that there is no requirement that the date in D2 has to be provided by an XLGL function. It can be entered manually or use any other Excel functionalities to be populated. We can also look at the function argument window to learn more about the function. Some worksheet functions can have many optional arguments, allowing you to easily slice and dice the data you require. Let's try some of what we have learned. We'll start with a blank worksheet and enter our company name in cell B1. To do so, we click on the cell and type equal sign X company. Open and close parenthesis and press enter. The cell is populated with our company name. Note that we did not use any argument to the function. By default, X company will return the company name when no argument is provided. All XLGL worksheet functions have default behavior, such as this. Next, let's try to get the balance of an account. In cell B4, type an account number from your company data. In our case, we'll enter 10100-00. We could enter the name of the account manually, but, just like for the company name, there is a function we can use. Click on cell C4 and open the function argument window. Select the XLGL category from the drop-down list, then scroll down the function list until you find XGL Desk. Select it and click OK. This function will give us the account description given its number. Click the account argument text box, then click cell B4 on the worksheet to add a reference. The function argument window gives us a preview of the result. Click OK to confirm. Finally, let's add a function to get the current balance of the account. You can use the function argument window or just type it in if you know what you are doing. Let's use the function argument window to get some help. Open the window, select the XLGL category and find the XUS financial function. Notice that when you select a function, a description explains what it is used for. Click OK. Click the account's argument text box, then click cell B4. Click OK to confirm. We can now change the account number in cell B4 and watch both the account description and balance update automatically. This has been an introduction to XLGL worksheet functions. Continue watching to learn more about XLGL and how you can use it to achieve outstanding reports.